They wanted so much money that my mom had to take the house that my grandma owned for 32 years and she had to put it as collateral for my brother because we didn't have the money. As a public defender, you know, I can't tell you how many times I've been told to call the woman in the family, right? The mother, the grandmother, the girlfriend, the wife, the sister, whoever, to try and see if they could get the bail together. Uh, probably 90% of the time I was given the name of a woman to call. My baby son, when he was arrested, his bail was like $300,000. And there was no way that we could even conceive of paying that. Because that amount of money is often so high, there is a bail bonds private industry that has been set up to, quote, help families pay the bond. You have one choice of either leaving your family member in there, you have the choice of paying the 10% of however much your bail, your bond is, or you go in and you go into debt and get a loan. And then often paying for those consequences for years down the line. Um, even if the person is acquitted and the charges are dropped against them, you still owe that money. It's not like you, you're gonna get it back from the bail bondsman. If you put up your house and that person doesn't show up, you lose your house. If you can afford to make bail, you're suffering. If you can't afford to make bail, you're suffering because you're going without, in my case, a father. If the system is fair, money should not play a role in it.